Hello, blessing to you in the name of Jesus. I wanted us to discuss this uh, very, very important topic. And I know that all those in America, um, outside America, who are Americans, will be interested in it concerning the forthcoming election about Donald Trump and Donald Duke and Donald Trump and um, um, Hillary Clinton. I, I feel it's very, very important that we talk about it because uh, a lot of publics have come forth already. Some are saying it's on Trump, some are saying it's, uh, it's Clinton. Whatever the case may be, can we pray before we start? Father, we bless you, we give you praise and we give you the glory for who you are. We celebrate you for your mightiness, we thank you for this opportunity, this causes. We ask that when your spirit go before us and guide us and see us in all that we do. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, I, I discussed that with you and I had, um, said earlier on that um, there are two people. Uh, Donald Trump and Bill Clinton, who are contesting for the election of the presidency of the United States of America. And to be very much emphatic about it, whatever decision that the two of them might make will, affect, will either affect America forever or will have a lot of impact on America. And that's the reason why it's very important for the believers to know and be aware who and what they are voting. That's very, very, very important. It's important for them to know who and what they are voting, and so that they, they can they can at least say something about about that and understand the process of voting in America. Now let us discuss this very properly. Who is the winner? Who will be the winner? Who will be the president of the United States? Is it Donald Trump? Is it Bill Clinton? Now I must be very emphatic about it because I'm speaking this prophetically from what the Bible says. Now, when we look at the book of First Timothy the 2, verse, from verse 1 to 3, it says, first of all, I beseech you therefore that, first of all, supplication, prayers, and thanksgiving be, be made for all men. First, for those who are in authority. First, for kings and for those who are for all those who are in authority, that we may, that we may live all uh, uh, godly and, 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 and peaceful life in honesty. That is the condition for the presidency of the United States of America. I'm speaking this from a very biblical perspective. Because many say, okay, I love Donald Trump. Others say, I love Donald Duke, uh, 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 Hillary Clinton. Or wherever you think that you think you want to vote, and wherever you think that it is right for you to vote. The most important thing is that America and all citizens of America must pray for those or anybody who emerges as the president of that country. Why do I say so? It's because the Bible says the hands of kings is in the hand of the Lord. And he turned it off whatever so he wishes. If God can use the Nebuchadnezzar and any other person, in fact, he even called the Nebuchadnezzar my servant. <laughs> if he can use the Nebuchadnezzar to do to fulfill his purpose, then there is nobody that God cannot use for bringing to pass his purpose on the face of the earth. So in as much as possible, the first thing to do is to pray for them. Whoever it is that Lord is going to emerge as the president of the United States of America, Lord, may that person come and do your will. Lord, may that person come and do your perfect will. That's the prayer. That's the prayer. But if believers will fail to fail to pray and are only leaning on to prophecy that this person said that this is what the man of God said, great, we bless God. Because the Bible says despise not prophecy, very, very important. But beside all, after prophesying, we must also pray. So for me, whoever will come out as the president of the United States of America, supplication and prayer will be made for that person. So that when the person comes, he's only entering to a ground or a place that in the seeds of prayers of the saints has already been planted. So if you enter into that office, he's compelled by the will of God to do what is needed for what is important. Whether I like it or not, the, the American election is interesting to all parts of the world. Because America has a lot of influence in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in different, in, in, in South America, and in many parts of the world. So it is very important for prayers, supplications, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for anybody who will come into the office of the presidency of the United States. Because it has far reaching consequences or multiply consequences all over the world we need to pray that we need to ask God for that we need to intercede for that if we fail to do what is important 
It will fail to do what is needful. It is failed to do what is necessary to pray for them. If they come and begin to take decisions and do things and embrace some policies that are contrary to the, to, to, to the kingdom of our God, then we should not complain. Because what a man sow, that he will reap. If we sow a seed of prayerlessness for the person who is going to come out as the president of the United States, then we should ex we should not complain when the seed has grown. We should not complain when, when we are harvesting evil policies. We should not complain when they are embarking on things that are contrary to the kingdom of God. We should not impose, in, in, uh, complain when they are embracing things that is going to bring uh, denied many the salvation from their sins. We need to understand this and we need to take it and put it into perspective that God is committed to doing what he's doing. God wants to do what he, what he said he will do. Only that he requires men and women to lift up holy hands in prayer. So, for me, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is going to be the winner. I'm not saying that Clinton will be the winner. But whoever among them emerges as the winner of the presidency of the United States of America, the most important thing is that prayer and supplication be made for that person. That's the most important thing. Prayer and supplication must be made for him and for her. So let us not sit down and tell ourselves, no, 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 this and no that. What God wants from us is to lift up these people in our prayers. So instead of sitting down and saying this and saying that, why not lift up holy hands for them in prayer? Let us stop complaining. Let us stop murmuring. Because complaining, murmuring doesn't take things out of hand it makes things worse so whoever may be the president prayers must be offered let all americans let us all plant seeds of prayer or let us water the ground of prayer let all americans sorry water the ground of the presidential election with prayer let them lift up their hands and pray to god god whoever may emerge whoever it is that may emerge cause the person to do your will lord make the person make the person to do your will let him enforce Principles of the kingdom of our God and of our heavenly Father. Let him do what is needful. The Bible says, "What did he say? He said, "That will be done on, on, in heaven as it's done. That will be done on earth as it's done in heaven." There is the will of God that, that is done in heaven, and it's that will that God wants to see done on earth. That's God's interest. So, if we want to see that, first we need to pray it. I will pray. We'll bring it down by prayer. We enforce that will. All of us are enforcement officers, heavens of enforcement, enforcement officers on earth. And God wants to see you enforcing God's will. And how do we do that? By prayers, of course. By prayers, of course. Obama was the president. Of course, he still is the president. And his tenure will soon be over. But the fact is that what seed that was sold in it? Now, a lot of policies have gone forth in the Obama regime that many do not like. But the question is, were you diligent to pray for Obama before he became the president of America? Were you diligent enough to pray for the two persons to, to whoever my emerge as the presidency of the United States before he, before he came? Good. This does not only apply to 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 to, to, to men to to to, to presidency alone, even to spiritual authority to our pastors, to our leaders in this in the church. But I'm saying this this video particularly is meant for Donald Trump and and who and Hillary Clinton as the potential candidacy for the presidency of the United States of America. It is your duty as an American citizen to pray. It is your duty as a believer to pray. If you fail to pray, whatever policy that you see, do not complain. Whatever harvest that comes from, from, the, from the seed of prayerlessness, do not complain. Because what you have sown is what you reap. If you sow prayerless, prayerlessness during this time, of, you refuse to lift up holy hands to prayer. Then whatever seed that will grow, evil policies, homosexuality, lesbianism, encouraging whatever it is that is contrary to the kingdom of our God and of our Heavenly Father, then do not complain about it. For it is the will of God that men and women be sanctified. And that cannot be done by talking and complaining alone. That must be done by prayer. So for you to be able to say this is this and that is that, what you need to do, what you need to understand is that you must first of all pray. 
I urge all Americans watching this video. I urge anybody watching this video. I urge all Americans that are listening to what I'm saying to pray for them, to lift up holy hands for them in prayer. You cannot say, "Oh, this this man is evil. Donald Trump is evil. Hillary Clinton is evil," but one of them will become your president. One of them will become your president, and it is in your own interest. It is your own. It is, your, it is in your own interest to pray for them, so that wherever they become the president, wherever it is that comes comes out and is the president of the United States, that person will now be an enforcer of the principles and of the kingdom of our God and of His, of 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 of, of His will. Do you know that? It's very important for that to occur. Do you also know that the lack of your prayer can cause them to align themselves with the devil and bring difficulty for the church in America? So, dear American watching this video, dear Americans watching this video, dear American believers and, be and American saints watching this video, what you need to do is to pray for Donald Trump and pray for Hillary, Hillary Clinton and pray for the general election that will be held this year. Pray for that election in America. Pray for it. God has impressed upon my heart to do this video. But it's for you. He said many of the saints are sleeping and they are not praying. And they want him to come and do miracle. When, the, when these people enter into, into the office, God has told me that particular. He said many of them are sleeping and are not praying. And if you don't pray, don't expect a miracle. If you don't pray, don't expect a miracle. Ask God and pray that God should do it. And you will do it. I want us, I want to use this opportunity to pray. And those who ask for mercy, we need to ask for mercy for all of us Americans, or for all Americans, because I'm not American, for all of us Americans, for all Americans who have not been praying for the election, who have not been praying for the candidacy, who have not been praying for the outcome of the election, who have not been praying that those who will come in to do the will of God, it is time to repent. I'm going to lead you to a prayer. We're going to pray to God for to ask for mercy. I, or I urge you to pray to God to ask for mercy. Ask God to forgive you for that. It is your duty. It is your responsibility to pray for the election of the presidency of the United States of America. I give an example. Before the election of, of that uh, occurred in 2015, the Nigerian presidential election, there was a lot of people were afraid that a lot, there will be a lot of crisis, there will be a lot of problems because there was an issue with the past president. Many people are saying that when he comes into power, he wants to get into power by all means. That's what the allegation that people are saying. And then the, many were afraid that the incumbent president who was, uh, the past president who was, uh, as of then, incumbent, that's the, uh, Jonathan, um, good luck Jonathan, would not agree to, rele to release power to the president, to the president, to the present president. And people from the northern part of the country will go into violence, they'll be destructing, the, and they'll be bloodshed. So believers rose up and prayed. Believers rose up and prayed and prayed. And do you know what? God answered the prayer. When the election was conducted and the the current president, which is good luck, Jonathan in Nigeria lost the election. He never, re he never resisted. He called Muhammad Ubrari, which is the, our president, pre which is the current president right now. The, the past president, which is good luck, Jonathan called him and said and congratulated him. This is what we've been praying for, and it's the prayers of many. I know pa pa particularly how I, I pray and pray and pray for that election. And God did answer him. So if my people are called my name, will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven and I will hear their land. That's what God is saying, and that's what He's saying. And if God can do it for the American and Nigerian election, He will do it for the for the American election. So we prayed, and God rose up in His mightiness and answered us. So Americans, pray for your election, pray for your election. And because of the answer to the prayer, God answered it, and there was no violence in that election. God thought the heart of the of the president, and then he released power peacefully, and he became the first in Africa, the first in Africa, the first president in Africa to be defeated in office and to agree peacefully to release power. He became the first in the whole of Africa. Most of them will not agree to do that. He became the first Af African president to be defeated in office. Why? God answered the prayer of his people. So I want you to pray for your uh, for your election. Don't start be talking about 
electing things uh, are males that have been released from Benghazi, this and this, and she wants to become president. Hillary Clinton did this. She become president, what will you do about it? To make decisions that will affect you. Why not pray that God, anybody that will come out of this election and be the president, let the person enforce the will of God. Let the person enforce the will of God. Father, we pray. Let me just say a prayer. Lift up America before the throne of grace at this hour. Lord, we pray for the elections. We know that they've been paid for years. Of course, American elections have been advanced and there have been a lot of things and all of that. We are not only praying for the peace of the election. We are praying that, Lord, wherever that we emerge as the presidential uh, um, occupant of the office in the United States of America, may the person do your will in the name of Jesus. Lord, we water the office of the presidency with, your, with, with prayers. We water it, Lord God Almighty, with prayers. And we ask you, God, that your will be done in the name of Jesus. Now, wherever we come, because the Bible says you hold the heart of kings in your hands and you turn it up like water. We ask to God that, Lord, may your, may, 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 your, may your hand be upon the person. That the person will do your will. That the policies and the, and the, and the decisions that will be taken into out the tenure of the office of the person in, of, in, that will be occupying that seat, that kingly position, that the person will do your will in the name of Jesus. That the person will do your will in the name of Jesus. That the person will be your servant in regards to enforcing your will in the name of Jesus. We pray for Donald Trump. We pray for Hillary Clinton. We ask you, God Almighty Father, that you will touch their heart and they will do your will during the time of their tenure in the name of Jesus. We ask for mercy for all of all American believers who have failed to pray for this election and who are still watching this video and are failing to pray. Lord, we pray for mercy because your word has commanded us. And if we fail to obey your word, we have disobeyed you. The Bible says, For supplication be made for all men, especially for, for those in authority. And they will be in authority. We pray for them, Lord. We ask you, God, for mercy and for forgiveness. Thank you, mighty Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Until I come your way next time with another video, may God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you.